Once upon a time, there lay a tiny village at the edge of a great mountain pass. The people of this village were simple, yet very adapted. They enjoyed their daily lives, sowing, tending crops, and raising livestock. Many of them had never ventured outside the city walls before. One day, a mysterious clear orb came floating into town. It was a giant bubble, bouncing along upon the carefree breeze. Upon eyeing this unknown object, the villagers began to panic, and flee at the sight of the bubble. In a panicked mass, they all ran into the chapel, and decided to hold a meeting as to what should be done. Finally, after countless hours of discussion and banter, an agreement was reached. Three letters, sealed in red wax would be sent out to the three greatest champions in the land, with hopes that one of them could defeat the dreaded bubble. Within three days, the champions all arrived. The first was a disciplined samurai from the Far East. His blade was one of the best in the world, so sharp, that he could cut the wind and make it bleed. The second, was a brave knight. He wore a shimmering armor and bore a shield emblazoned with the crest of the gods. His axe could crush stones and cause earthquakes. The third was a mysterious old mage, rumored to know every spell there was. So conditioned and enlightened to the forces of magic was he, that he could end a dragon's breath with one wave of the hand. As the village clock struck noon, these three great heroes prepared themselves, and entered the center of town. The bubble, was waiting for them. The samurai was the first to attack. With a ferocious battle screech, he leapt high into the air. He came down with agile finesse upon the bubble, bearing his katana downwards. But as his blade hit, the bubble bounced, causing both the samurai and his legendary weapon, to go flying. Next, it was the knight's turn. This man had seen his fair share of difficult conflict and tests. He was no stranger to battle, nor a tough opponent. He grinned with arrogance at the challenge presented before him. Raising his axe high into the air, he prepared to shatter the bubble into bits. The mighty axe shattered through the surface of the earth, stirring up dust and small pebbles. The villagers were all swept off their feet, but so was the bubble. The playful orb wafted high into the air, before coming back down before the confused knight. Pitiful fools! Allow me to show you how it's done! Proclaimed the mage. Positive that he would succeed where his fellows had not, he began to conjure a powerful spell. He began to perspire and grunt as a sheer wall of white energy consumed him. With a sudden thrust of his palms, the mage sent his most powerful spell in the direction of the pesky bubble. His eyes widened as he watched the energy pass through, doing absolutely nothing. The people of the village began to whisper amongst themselves. All three of their best heroes, had failed to destroy the bubble. They began to grow very worried. Whatever shall we do now? Asked one. No one knew the answer, or, so they thought. Through the crowd, not even tall enough to see the threat, came a small boy. He playfully marched right up to the bubble, and held out his hand. The villagers all gasped. This innocent child had done what their best warriors could not. When asked how he managed to succeed, the child simply replied, if you treat it like a bubble, it will act like a bubble. Thus a new age of acceptance spread across the land. No longer would superstition and fear reign within their realm. For from ignorance and misjudgment, often comes needless hatred. <laughs>